What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and this is not a video or rather a stream that I expected to do um, considering the whole situation, Fire Emblem Fates we knew was probably going to get just a little bit of watering down here or there for some topics. I mean, it's undeniable at this point. It's happened with pretty much every single Fire Emblem release, um, a lot of games that come out of Japan, but today is a little bit more memorable because Man, all right, I, we have to explain everything. For those of you who are coming into this and you don't know what the hell is going on, Fire Emblem Fates is a really hyped game that's coming out next month in the United States. It's been out in Japan for a while now. And one of the features that the game has, and just letting you know, I didn't really look too much into the features. So if I sound misinformed about certain topics, it's only because I did so intentionally to avoid too many spoilers. But one thing that we did learn from the Japanese release of Fire Emblem Fates is that there was going to be a petting room included in the My Castle feature, I think. I'm not sure where, well, I, th I think it happens in the My Castle, but anyways, the petting room is meant for you to interact on a closer, more intimate level with uh, random characters in the game. I'm not sure if you can only do it with the character that you marry or if you can do it with everybody, but from the way it sounds on the outside, maybe it sounds like something crazily explicit, but there's a bit more detail to it, and it's not as crazy as it seems on the surface. But anyways, that's for you to judge, because we're going to watch through a quick snippet of what this petting room is, and the way that the characters interact with you when you're in the room with them. So let's take a look really quick. I want you guys to be able to watch it for yourself, so you can judge, and then you can you know leave your opinions. This is a stream, by the way, guys, so we are going to be getting your opinions as well, too. If you are really heated about this topic, and you want to let me know, or whoever the hell watches the, whoever the hell else watches this video on YouTube, then you can definitely do so later on. I'm just going to spend a few minutes introducing everything. And then if you want to donate to leave a message that pops up on the screen, it'll be a $5 minimum, by the way, just to make sure that, you know, it just doesn't get spammed with a bunch of just messages that are irrelevant. Um, Tyrone Bob, thank you for the sponsorship as well, too, man. I'll, I'll give you a more ro warm, robust welcome when we're not discussing something so serious. But anyways, I do appreciate the spawns, man. Early on train, man. Anyways, Let's take a look at exactly what this petting thing is, and you guys can see for yourself what it details. So, we've got the video right here. This is from the Japanese release, so I guess you can say spoilers to an extent, but, I mean, at this point now, we're talking about a feature from a game that we don't have in the United States yet, so, yeah, spoilers will be involved regardless. Take a look at this. Oh, wait, I need my headphones in, actually. Totally forgot to do that. So this is one of the characters in the game. Um, she obviously she looks a lot like Tharja, yo. She looks a lot like Tharja. Uh. <laughs> oh lord. Oh lord. <laughs> that face. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I, I mean, obviously, I don't understand what she said there, but Nintendo completely removed that feature from the game entirely. So this is what we're going to be discussing today. You just saw the petting thing in action for yourself. And even though we don't know the dialogue, we can see the visuals. And if you've played Pokemon X or Y, it'll probably put you in mind of Pokemon and me, where you can do the same thing to your Pokemon, but you see them full body. Like, the way that this initially was being described to me when I first heard about the petting room months, months ago, I thought it involved, like, you know, feeling up the entire character, being able to touch the booby, some Senran Kagura type shit. But it turns out that it's not as extreme as that, at least from what we've seen excuse me and i've watched a couple of these although and i haven't really seen anything in terms of the visual side of stuff that looks too explicit per se so we are going to be analyzing today why the hell this feature was removed from the game in its entirety everyone's opinionated about this whole thing so before we go into you guys' opinions real quick i'm going to open the donation soon anyway so you dudes can you know get get your word out there but i want to give you dudes just a little bit of my own opinion with this whole thing 
And then after I give you my opinion, I'll start to read through guys, through you guys' opinion. And then, uh, don't worry, I'm going to do so in a really cool way because on Twitter, that'll be one of the easiest ways to get your point across to me because the messages are short and sweet. I'll also be looking at the chat too and what's going on to the chat. Thank you guys for coming through. But anyways, I'm going to mainly be looking at Twitter, looking at chat, and the donations as well as who will be opened up. And anyways, in terms of my own initial opinion on this, first off, and let's get a little bit of music in here to kind of set the tone, but... um. First off, when I first heard about this, I was kind of thrown back because why not just edit the dialogue itself if it seems so suggestive? And I remember reading some passages from the petting room beforehand with certain characters. Yeah, and sometimes maybe the dialogue would get a little extreme, but considering that the game is being aimed at somewhat of a more mature audience, I mean, it's coming in America rated T for teen, right? You wouldn't think necessarily that this would be something so extreme. I mean, and there's a lot of other people out there who, like I mentioned before, are comparing this to Pokemon and me, and it seems relatively harmless at the end of the day here. Maybe if you had just adjusted the dialogue, you wouldn't have to remove such a key feature. Now, one thing as well is that a lot of people are looking at the content itself of the whole petting room thing, and they're saying, well, this is pretty explicit, Etika. I mean, why do you even want this feature in the game? But there's multiple reasons as to why I feel this should not have been the way that they went about this. Because taking out a big chunk of the game, while some of you may say it does nothing for the story, it doesn't affect the gameplay at all, so why even bother about it? But that's the thing, it is part of the gameplay. I mean, the game, like, how would you feel if little pieces and sections of games that you love were actually taken out from earlier on and not included because they were felt not to be appropriate for the region. A game, I feel, is a collective experience, and whether some parts may seem a bit questionable, I don't feel like Nintendo judged correctly in that sense. I mean, I would love to know, I would love to know what their basis was in terms of determining why this was not appropriate for the region. I mean, I don't know. Let me, let me look at some comments really quick, guys. Um, has he eaten his nutsack yet? Uh, no, not 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 exactly. Um, right shoulder fetish. <laughs> Someone said this is a huge part of the game, and I'm glad and I'm sad that I won't get the full experience. That's another big thing as well, too. People, some people are saying it's weird. Well, understandable. I mean, maybe this won't be your kind of. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that, guys. I I didn't even realize that the the issue came to my VPN. I have it on, and usually it protects me from you know hackers and whatnot. But I mean. I left it on this time, and uh, you don't leave a VPN on when you stream. It usually fucks things up. But anyways, we're back on track. I apologize. We lost a lot of viewers, but um, let's get back to the topic at hand and um, restore things. But anyways, now, to, what was I mentioning before? I was, talking about, I was talking about the precedent that this sets, because who knows? Maybe in the future, whatever Nintendo deems inappropriate would get removed entirely. And I always feel like... Things like this could maybe just be edited to be more appropriate. But then again, why make it more appropriate in the first place if the game itself is targeted for an older audience? I don't know. But anyways, I want to hear your opinions now. So here's the way that you can do it. If you're going to be sending your opinions to me on Twitter, you can do it in the following method. Now, we got to use a hashtag because it makes things a lot easier to work out. So to get your point across to me through Twitter, and I'll be checking this occasionally during the stream, you have to use hashtag um, fire f fire emblem petting yeah so tweet me your response with this whole thing through that hashtag and i'm going to be checking them like here's the way you do it usually you copy the hashtag and then you just put it in on twitter and bam you can find everybody who's using it but no one's using it yet so this is the way that you can get your message across to me i'm not going to be checking my notifications we're going to be doing this entirely through that hashtag donations will also be on now so that way you guys can send me messages through that front as well and it'll also show up on the stream so everyone can read your shitty opinion <laughs> i don't mean that i don't mean that by the way i'm joking around or maybe i do mean it a little bit but um Anyways, let's get the music back on. Kind of puts us in that fire emblem sort of mood in a way. Um, donations, let me see, let me see, let me see. They're on now, so I'll be able to get your donation messages, and I'll be able to also check out people using the hashtag. And uh, so, you know, I want to adjust my point of view because if if a point makes enough sense that you guys say to me, then maybe I'll adjust the way that I think. But so far, I don't agree with this move whatsoever. And will we really be able to make a change with it? Probably not. I mean, Nintendo, we honestly represent a very small number in terms of their overall sales, which is, you know, probably this game is going to sell over a million copies in the U.S. Do we represent, you know, as being an online audience, do we represent a million sales worldwide or, you know, nationwide? I mean, I think Fire Emblem Fates is going to probably do way more than that. I'm estimating maybe five million with how much marketing they're putting into this, but that's a pretty damn big number. So let's see. Let's see. What, what, what are people saying? Um, 
How hearing about fates being censored to this point got me. <laughs> what the hell? Oh man, I got I gotta make sure. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, so um, by the way, Tally, thank you for joining on to the sponsorship team, and I appreciate it. I'll give you that warm welcome later on. But for now, um, so we have, so we have Livy actually, who's one of my squad members, coming in there with the post. Um, let me make sure everything's good here. I'm actually gonna zoom this in so you guys can see better. Anyways. Now, I, I, hopefully we have some diversity in terms of people's opinions as well, too. I'm not saying that I'm taking, you know, the the naysayer side with the whole thing that don't care about this. Uh, like, so, I, I don't know. It's hard to explain because I want to try to play devil's advocate. I don't want to vouch for one side too hard. So I'm willing to listen to both arguments. Anyways, so Europe got to see Tharja Booty. So Europe might actually get this feature, too. If that is the case, my boy, I am moving, man. Come on, man. How the hell are you going to do that? No, no, no. We don't know the specifics when it comes to certain regions that will get the removed petting room and certain ones that won't. All we know right now is that most likely the American release will not be getting it. Um, this is only the start. I see there will be more with Fire Emblem or Bravely Second. That's definitely a concern. The first game got a couple of cuts to it as well, too. But I don't think the entire removal of a feature. That's where this whole thing stands out to me a bit more, my man. The, the entire removal removal of a, of a feature in the game like something that it's kind of like removing the pokemon and me from the game that that affects the entire package in my opinion man um let me see someone said the pedal room i don't think it goes down like that man i don't think you can do anything sexual in the room or i mean all you all you do i guess is just rub around their face or whatever but i mean for some people maybe that makes them uncomfortable i don't know and then this is trash not only censoring games wrong but it's unfair that's a very bold point, but I can agree with you to an extent. Someone says, I need to pet my waifu. Indeed. So, Etika, sing how you feel about this. I, I I don't know if I have the voice for that, man. The Fire Emblem petting change. The demo. Wait, hold on. Are the donations even showing up here? They're not even showing up here. This is why I, I, I had donations off for a while, because the donation box is stupid. I'm going to have to look at them through here. We have the Wordna, who actually come, came in with a post saying, uh, hold on. Let me see saying while i'm sad to see it go i don't think it needed wait okay he said while i am not sad to see it go i don't think it needed to be cut and also there is uh a re uh, sib what three i'm not sure what you mentioned there but um, three of the four most popular gen ones from awakening crom got in crom got excluded got clone characters in the game yeah i was aware of that actually um let me see here um, hey, Etika, I saw this discussion was coming up, and I sent you an email for a video I thought would be interesting to watch on the stream. Uh, perhaps apply the knowledge to the current discussion, too. I'll take a look at that, man. Thank you. Chrissy says, so petting my champ's dick in Pokemon is okay, but doing something suggestive in a video game made for teens isn't? You're hitting it right on the head, man. Something that was aimed specifically at an older audience. I mean, to be honest with you guys, at one point, I was kind of hoping that Fire Emblem Fates would get an M rating because it would mean that less content could be cut in the idea of it being too suggestive for the region. But it got a T rating, but I didn't think it would get to this extent where things were being removed. Um, in a video game, I don't play Fire Emblem. I want to get into it, but this seems really stupid. And th there's another argument that we have to touch upon. There are a lot of people who are very neutral about this that say, why do you even care about this? This one, you know, it's not even all that important. It doesn't really matter. But if it doesn't matter to that extent where you're saying no one should care about it, then why was enough care and matter and concern put into it in the first place to remove it? Like, if it really wasn't that big of a deal, then you should have just left it alone. If it's not, it's just, I don't understand that. I mean, I feel like it honestly is harmless. There's there's no kind, you don't fucking have sex with the character. Like, like when you have... Uh, well, I don't even know how to pronounce her name, but I mean, when you have that 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 Tharja clone there, it's not like you're you're sticking your dick in her mouth. Like, I mean, no, you're you're. I mean, maybe you could consider the Fire Emblem petting room similar to a stylist in a salon. You're just doing her hair, my boy. <laughs> you're just doing her hair, my boy. That's all I see it as. Because I mean, that's the only place you can really touch. It's not as bad as gripping my champ's penis like in Pokemon and me. That's what I. Chrissy got a good point. Chrissy got a good point. Grand Mario. Oh, get. I remember you from the previous thing. Thank you. Um, having played the Japanese version of the game myself, I thought I would bring up a few important points in favor of the removal of skinship. I put it into a paste bin so I didn't need to split it into multiple donation messages. I'm going to take a look at that, actually. Thank you very much. I I'm probably going to skim through it since, you know, I don't, I don't think we're going to be streaming this for, like, hours and hours on end. And it was the... <sighs> Why was it removed? <laughs> and it is telling me... Let me decide if I want to use that block or not, man. But anyways, um, let's keep it 
moving here on Twitter, actually, hearing about fates being censored to this. Oh, you know, we already read this one. It's not like they removed marriage or childbirth from the game, people. Come on now. It's localization, in my opinion. Localization is one thing. It's the matter of adjusting the content of a game to fit the standards of a certain region. You know, maybe maybe some of the standards in Japan aren't necessarily on par with America, and I agree and totally support that. But localization does not mean removal of content per se. I mean, I guess you can consider removal of content in the basis of localization, but localization is just meant to transform, not to totally cut out. I don't know. I, I mean, why remove it? It's part of the game, dude. It's part of the game. At the very least, I hope it gets replaced. Yeah, and that's another thing, too. Currently, at this point, we have no word on any kind of a replacement system coming into the way. So you can honestly, qu quite seriously, consider the American release of Fire Emblem Fates a cropped version of the full Japanese release. I'm not okay with that, regardless of what was cut. It, it could have been the petting room. It could have been the, the marriage support system. It could have been a couple of the weapons in the game, maybe, or original differences like that. No matter what the hell the content was that was cut from the game, regardless if it involved waifu, weapons, dialogue, whatever it is, I would have been disappointed because that means I'm not getting the full robust experience. I'm not okay with that. And if you feel as if the content itself justifies the removal of, of, of the, um, certain features in the game, then I feel like you're not looking at this from the full scope of things. Because if you like your game getting cut into pieces and kept away from you just depending on where you live, that's a little bit wrong in my opinion. Um, but you know what? Wrong and right is determined by the person, not exactly by the society standards. So I mean, that's kind of a big thing to say, oh, I think it's wrong, so everyone should think it's wrong. I'm not assuming that. but. We're just talking in terms of my own personal opinion, which is shit, just like all of yours. Uh, anyways, um, unnecessary and cuts off content from the game and the experience. Shitty opinion. <laughs> let me see here. Um, what are you guys saying in the chat, actually? Let me, let's check out donations again, because the donation thing is not working, dudes. Like, I wish I knew why this was the case. But Twitch alerts? Twitch alerts is fucking up, dude. Big time. The fact that shit isn't showing up for me? Like, come on. People are giving their money here to get their shit read. And they can't even... Anyway, I'm going to have to look at the donations through this little window. So give me a little bit of patience. If you donated to get your point across, I will get to it soon. Um, let me see. Let me see. What are, what are some other people saying? Um, we have another donation from... From Lauren um, Z7, Z017. How are you going to make a T-rated game and treat it like it's rated E? Nintendo never seemed to have a grip on what its American fan base is okay and not okay with. I agree. It's not like they were going for something like an E rating or whatever. I mean, when it comes to T, in terms of the visual effect of, you know, what the petting system was, it don't look that bad to me. We've all seen it. I mean, maybe I'll just leave some clips on it on the screen for you guys to take a look at so you can judge for yourself. We're going to probably make a little playlist with these whole things, but it doesn't really seem like it's, a, I don't know. I mean, maybe not for an E game. But for a T game, I mean, come on, it's just some dialogue, change it up. You know Nintendo always has that effect. If something seems a little bit too suggestive, too sexually too sexually provocative, they usually tone it down. I mean, they did the same thing for Kamui and her inclusion in um, Smash Brothers. They got rid of that little thigh chap thing that she got going on and just put fabric there. That's all right, you know, whatever. Small little difference. I wouldn't, I, I didn't like it, but I mean, whatever. Swallow your pill, right? And then Bayonetta, they actually covered up the um, diamond pattern on the back of her leg that shows some of her skin back there. And I mean, these subtle little changes, all right, it's fine. But you know, they're not totally, they're not totally butchering the character. But I mean, I feel like this is almost somewhat butchering an aspect of the game that involves personal relationships in Fire Emblem. And if you play Fire Emblem Awakening or maybe other Fire Emblem games as well too, I'm not, I'm not a fucking disciple when it comes to Fire Emblem. I mean, I only jumped on board with Awakening. So maybe I don't have the robust history of knowledge of the FE games to make a solid decision or judgment about this, but I feel as if, if, if the game is dependent on character relationships as a big part of establishing a connection to the game, then why get rid of something that enhances those relationships with those characters, gives you funny dialogue, gives you a deeper attachment to the game overall as a person? Why? Um, Lohawk with a $30 donation. Thank you, my friend. I really don't care, but if they plan on taking content out of a game, replace it with something else, or give a discount. Bam! It's, I'm not getting the full game. Like, you're making me pay full. I'm not. You, 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 oh, hey, listen up, my boys. You're making me play the full amount for a game, and you ain't giving me all the features that I know for a fact that it has. Maybe they could have gotten away with this in an earlier age where information didn't spread at the drop of a fucking hat, but 
we're in a different era right now, Nintendo. When you make a move like this and you specifically remove content from a game that everyone is aware of, it's not going to sit well with people. I mean, if I'm paying, I, I want to get the full experience with my I, I, I'm, I'm reiterating the same point over and over. Let's keep it moving, guys. Um, we're going to read some more of these donations that people gave. Um, let me see here. We have um, from Randy GTX21. Etika. I like, like your videos, man. I want to play Smash with you. Uh, we're, well, we're not addressing that right now, Randy, but I appreciate the love, dude. Slimeify, I actually remember you from plenty of streams. You're always so much support. Did you finish Undertale yesterday? Um, no, I did not. We're not talking about Undertale right now, though, but I do appreciate the support regardless. War Total 5 says, remember me, I'm back. Anyways, I think this isn't even T-rated. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Maybe if, I, think, I feel like it fits nicely in the T section, but we'll see. Hold on, let me... Let me let me pull up the, um, there's so many things to do with this whole thing, and in fact, we're going to move off of the donations really quick, we're just going to look at what some people are saying in the, um, alright, here we go, as far when Nintendo censors more shit with Hungrybox right here, Yoshi Hyrule, <laughs> I think that the games should never be censored, but if we can fuck Kamui, then this game would be a wet dick, wet dick with cum, yeah man, I love the memes, um, to be fair, I think Wait, the only real source we have is Kotaku, and that's true. Some of you guys may not be aware of this, but the Kotaku article where they went into full detail about this whole thing is actually right here. Let's read a couple of the statements that Nintendo gave for their excuse as to why the content was entirely cut from the game. So, make this is Nintendo's statement. Like, apparently, um, Kotaku was in communication with them. They asked them about it. Hey, why the hell did you remove this from the game? Making changes is not unusual when we localize games, and we have to indeed, and we have indeed made changes in these games. When we localize a game, we do so in order to make it appropriate for that particular territory. All of our choices were made from that point of view. So now let me ask you a question, Nintendo. By what basis did you determine that the petting room option was inappropriate for the Western audience? Now, I thought about this a lot while I was doing my walk to get, um, fi um, excuse me, um, Final Fantasy Explorers. But here's my logic with the whole thing, right? Nintendo made a judgment for a game that's going to be coming out in the West, and what basis did they decide that upon? Like, for, for example, maybe they had focus groups, or, you know, Nintendo, I mean, Nintendo's got a lot of focus groups, most likely, they're, they're, they're a multi-million dollar, potentially even billion dollar company, you know, these guys have focus groups, research, um, think tanks, people that make numbers and region analysis their jobs. People get, get paid for this, a lot of money, so I'm not saying that their research is inaccurate, but no amount of Nintendo's research could ever accurately gauge what the entire response to a game would be when it's released in a certain region. What I'm trying to say is that there's no way Nintendo could have decided, even with all that research and the, re and the resources that they had, that people would not like this feature and would get turned off by the game if it was revealed in America. The judgment of that is is a little vague in my opinion. It's a bit bold and they kind of took a, a, a step further than they should have because Let's, let's see, I mean, if they really did know exactly what would make a game sell well and how well it would perform in a region, then the Wii U wouldn't have done as horribly as it did upon its release. Obviously, you learn lessons as time goes on and you get better at appropriating certain content for certain regions with the more experience that you have. But there's no way for you to know for a fact this move was be beneficial for the game's release or maybe that wasn't their point but what truly was the point of this to make it so the game would be more liked maybe or it'd be more accessible they're probably thinking about the parents that would be buying this game for their kids but those parents are the ones that would be that would be in the wrong in the first place because you shouldn't be buying a t-rated game for your little fucking kid i mean i don't get it like what i always feel like I always feel nowadays, like when it comes to content in certain games, especially since we're in an age of information and technology, that the majority always gets punished by the few imbeciles. Parents go out there and they buy these really mature games for their children without ever paying attention or taking supervision into into the whole situation. And then after the fact, they get upset and like, oh, you you guys made a game like this. I bought it for my kid. Why the hell would you do that? I don't I don't understand, man. I mean, maybe I'm making too many judgments. I'm obviously talking out of my ass right now. And maybe I look like a dummy by saying all this. I'm making a lot of assumptions right now. But I mean, I don't know, man. Let me see. Let me see. What, what are some more donations saying to me right now, guys? I'm sorry if I'm missing some donations. This fucking donation box is not working. Fucking Twitch alerts, man. Why the fuck is this the case? Anyways, so we have another donation from Nob 
Knob Stop Coconuts? I'm sorry, I don't... Wait, is this really 100% confirmed? I mean, it's Kotaku of all places, not Nintendo. I mean, as much as Kotaku loves to be in that clickbait, I don't think that they would give us blatantly wrong information like that. You know, they've done that sometimes before, but I mean, not blatant like this. In the Conquest Edition, a male main character created by the gamer can pair up with another male character, Niles, which ultimately leads to marriage. And similarly, in the Birthright Edition, a female main character created by the gamer can pair up and eventually marry another female character, um, the Tharja clone. Um, like married couples of the opposite gender, the same-sex couples enjoy the stat boost that come with marriage, which means that when they are paired up in battle, they are stronger than when they are paired up with another character. In the third edition, so this is... I don't know what the hell they were trying to address there. They, I mean, well, I mean, okay, let's see what they said in terms of the petting thing. So, yes, that is the case. That petting is not in the English version. You might have heard somewhat, or you, you might have heard somewhat misinterpreted or exaggerated information about the Japanese original game, but even in the Japanese original version, we have not included any features which are considered inappropriate in Japan. And this was a statement from a rep that was defending the original intent of the Japanese version. So even even when a Nintendo rep themselves specifically said, I mean, sure, maybe the information was exaggerated. And here's another thing too. Oh guys, you gotta, you gotta be aware of this. This is something that we've all learned from so many places, especially Source Gaming, that a lot of times fan translations or early fan translations are a bit exaggerated. Now, a lot of people, when they, when they learn the Japanese language, and I can't speak for a first-person perspective because I don't know Japanese, but a lot of people, when they translate things over that are American or, you know, understand English first and then Japanese second or whatever order they learn the languages in, sometimes they have a tendency of making things seem a bit more over the top than they actually are intended from Japanese. And we've seen this happen so many times in the past. So maybe certain people caught wind of some of the suggestive undertones of the petting room early on when Fire Emblem Fates came out. And I remember reading some crazy shit. Like apparently there was some stuff that, that some nigga mentioned that leaving another nigga with a milky booty hole at some point. Like, I mean, I don't know. I, I, it was nowhere near that explicit. You know, I always got to add some spice to it. But I mean, there was at one point a mention of a character be saying, oh, you're going to be worn out by the time this is over. And it's like, okay, but... Maybe that was a bit more of a jump or someone just over translating the shit or make or giving an inaccurate translation rather You know like I don't know you but then people see that early information and they judge the hell out of it I mean I did it because I just thought it would be fucking hilarious to see these interactions, but I mean damn Where did they make this basis off of Nintendo like with, like so this all goes back to that point of how Nintendo came to decide that this wouldn't be appropriate maybe they should take a risk and attempt to put out information or not information um, put out features like this in a game like this and maybe see how the region reacts to it I, I think that we won't be able to get like millions of people around the world talking about this and saying oh yeah we don't want our game censored but I mean they maybe maybe we can do something I don't know well anyways let's look at some more comments let's look at some more comments because right now I'm kind of let me see um Etika maybe America is too strict what would mother think if she saw this <laughs> there are English screenshots um, with it still in the game. Let me see. Mm, milky booty hole. Uh, I just woke up, but I heard that it's fake, really. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Um, more donations, actually. I'm so sorry, guys. Canceling my pre-order from Cheezer Piss. I hate how Fire Emblem was shoved down our throats with all the characters in Smash Brothers. Uh oh, we got we, we oh this is a heated one right here. And then now that the game is being censored, I'm done. I don't want Nintendo to tell me what I should and should not like. Exactly. That strong point there, for my friend. I I feel like with all the attention that Fire Emblem has, they had to have known that people would be aware of this, and we're not going to prefer having our content... Um, we're, we're, we're not going to want our content cut rather than just getting the whole experience. Um, let me see. Let's look at some more Twitter comments with the hashtag Fire Emblem Petting really quick. Camilla will be missed. Um, whoever thought of adding this feature to Fire Emblem Fates was one horny ass nigga. That's, I get, maybe that's an assumption that a lot of you think is accurate, but I feel like it's more of a relationship building tool to get in touch with these characters because Fire Emblem as a whole, as a franchise, one of the features that helped to save it with Awakening was the fact that you can get on a deeper level with a lot of the characters. I mean, some people refer it to the waifu simulator, but it doesn't mean that that was a bad feature. I think that it was awesome to be able to interact with characters 
on such a on such a personal level, you know? I mean, it wasn't even anything too crazy. I'm not just talking about the sexual aspect. I'm not just talking about the, the, the appeal aspect of the female characters or whatever. You guys who watch my Fire Emblem playthrough know damn well that I love so many of the characters in that game, regardless of what their gender is. I mean, Lon Ku, I would give my heart for Lon Ku. That's my motherfucking boy right there. Robin? I fucking love that dude. So it's not just about the sex appeal. It's about so many other things. I mean, you learn about these characters. You see they have a history, a, a, a robust past, a, a story to tell. Everyone in the game like that. So when it comes to the interactions throughout the petting room, all I could see with that whole thing was great. Another way to learn even more about the characters, get into their backstory. Because a lot of times, maybe playing through one time with the whole game, you can't really get all the characters in full because maybe you're playing on classic mode or you don't do all the supports with all the characters. It's almost impossible to do all the variations and support with one playthrough. And you know, But I mean, this would still be something great to get on a deeper level with the characters that you love. Let me see here. Clearly Nintendo doesn't respect their adult fans. You can easily play the uncensored version via 3DS modding as well now too. And we know for a fact, after hearing some people, um, after hearing about this whole censorship thing, some people are going to take that stance to not support the game and only um, get the modded versions or pirate the game or hack the game. I don't think that's the best way to approach this because I mean, we, I still want to support the franchise, and I don't think it's Fire Emblem, the company itself, um, what is it, Intelligent Systems? I don't think it's the company's fault, but it comes down to Nintendo themselves, like their actual localization team. I think if it was up to the developers of Fire Emblem Fates, they would be like, hell yeah, put everything out there, we don't give a fuck, you know, make, give them the whole game. But Nintendo said, no, we're not going to give them the entire experience, we're going to take a piece off a relatively sizable piece and then give the experience to them that's okay right like no it's not fucking okay man i want my game i want the full game i want the full experience how the fuck is this baby come on man how did you how did you think i would be okay with this like i, I don't know then i don't know dude let's take a look at some more donations really quick um roson123 says i honestly hated the petting it was way too waifu for me Understandable. Some people will get uncomfortable when it comes to waifu or whatever. It's all good, baby. Not everyone's going to love everything in this world. Not everyone's going to be open-minded to everything. But it's not even about being open-minded. That doesn't. That's not even in the equation. Simply understanding that, hey, I like some things, I don't like other things, hey, that's fine. I don't really like shooter games too much. I mean, it takes a very unique shooter for me to get into it, except for Call of Duty. For some reason, I'm in love with Call of Duty um, Advanced. Excuse me, no, 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 no. I'm in love with Call of Duty Black Ops 3, but I mean, that's a game once in a blue moon that I have an interest for. Splatoon as well, too. But, you know, that's just me. And if you don't like waifu anime games, then I mean, that's fine. But still, and these donations are fucking... Yo, man, I'm gonna put Twitch alerts on blast after this shit. This is fucked up, dude. Um, hold on a minute. Um, anyway, I wanted to keep reading through Roson123's comment here. He said, I honestly hated the petting. Also, I'm sense nor... What? Um, but also removing it. Okay, l let me just start over again because sometimes these comments get messed up from this reader thing. I honestly hated the petting and it was way too waifu for me, but removing it was really stupid at this point. Also, I'm sense nor won't have grinding. Supports will be practically impossible on making children practically impossible too. I don't know if it's Twitch alerts or the comment itself, but I'm sorry, I don't really understand the point that you were trying to go for there, man. Um, let me let me take a look at another one. Grand Myriad says, hopefully this one works. No, it didn't, man. I'm sorry. Hold on a minute. Well, it, oh, oh, here we go. I see the link now. Let me see. Let me, let me copy this. I actually have it right there. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, I got, I got it. Wait, no, I can't copy it from this window reader thing. I'm sorry, Myriad. I don't know. What the hell? It's funny because Japan has much stricter laws for censorship than America. Really now? That's something I didn't honestly know, man. So it doesn't really make sense to censor games from Japan. And you, this is another thing, too. I'm not some fucking aficionado when it comes to maintaining information or learning about information for localizations of certain regions. I ain't no fucking official, dude. I'm just a fucking fan that's excited to get into a game that he loves. But the fact that Japan has more censorship than America, maybe. I know they're not as prone to violence in their games as American um, games are. But, I mean, that's debatable, maybe. Let me see some more stuff from people. There's a lot of comments here, guys. You know, I'm one nigga, so you got to give me some time here. Europe. Oh wait, no, no, we we've already read through all that. Let's just see some more of the new results. Actually, I need to randomize it a little bit. Let's see here. Um, look at this. I personally want this, but that's my idea. I like the like chat thing. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> um, let me see. I guess Nintendo is stepping away from the M rating. I guess. 
the petting wouldn't have given them an M rating. No, I, I don't think that would have happened, dude. They could have adjusted the dialogue if some of it was that suggestive to give them an M rating. But what would like what what do you use to get an M rating? I think you have to say fuck in a in a conversation or in a sentence. I don't think any of that was included in the game. Um, drugging people and gay converse, um, excuse me, and gay conversion are controversial. Being gay is not. Yeah, I don't worry. I don't feel. No, no, no. They're not saying that. You know, the, I don't think there was any kind of consideration for censorship in regard to the um, homosexual relationships in the game. I don't even think that ever came into the spectrum at all. They were planning on approaching it and you know totally accepting it and putting it out there in the game. You know, I don't think that was the problem. But drugging people with the whole you know um, pill Cosby Corin thing. That was a little controversial, maybe. Petting leads to pregnancy. Holding hands leads to sexually transmitted diseases. Yo. <laughs> Seriously. That's the way they're treating this shit, my man. That's the way they're treating it. But in terms of the drugging thing as well, too, you can't even say that it was inappropriate because a lot of the context behind the situation, everything needs context to be able to be understood 100% for you to come, jump to a conclusion. There were so many people that read, oh, he spiked her drink? She, and now, th th that's horrible. I mean, even I jumped on that bandwagon at one point, but when you read the context of the situation and you look into the history behind certain things, decisions made in the game, to be honest, it doesn't seem all that hurtful. It doesn't seem all that bad. I mean, they just tried to maybe just make an interesting interaction between the two characters. And one other thing, too. I don't think that it's the responsibility of Nintendo or the Fire Emblem development team to set a moral standard and example for the kids that play their games. That's the parents' responsibility. How many of you... Look, listen, guys. Tell me, tell me this in the chat. How many of you are tired of games and other things like that being restricted due to the few stupid people that look at them and say oh this must be how real life works right like no nigga the responsibility to be able to determine what the difference is between reality and fantasy is up to the parents of the kids not the fucking companies that make these products i mean i don't know guys i mean dudes i can't be the only one that's pissed off about that shit i can't be how many of you are tired of having things restricted and removed from us due to the few stupid people that do horrible things with the information? Like, I don't like that shit, my man. I don't fucking like that. Not everyone is a fucking dumbass. Not everyone, not everyone is going to see a character, you know, in a funny conversation like this, or, you know, where, you know, uh, uh, not even, it's not even like, it's not like Corin put a roofie in her drink, my boy. It's a fantasy fucking element that no one's going to attribute to reality unless they didn't fucking raise their children the right way. I'm sorry, when it comes to stuff like this, I get passionate about it because I feel like I shouldn't have to pay the price for the couple of stupid people that take things too far, man. Anyway, let's keep it moving, guys. Let's keep it moving. Um, Petitions, my... We ain't petition ain't gonna do shit. Nintendo ain't gonna listen to us about this shit, man. We don't represent their whole sales demographic of millions of, upon millions of copies. I mean, what are we... How many niggas are watching the stream right now, right? How, how many niggas are watching this shit? 3,564. Wow, that's a big number to me, a big number to you. Nintendo, that's like a drop in the bucket. Who gives a damn, right? Um, there's a bunch of dumb white parents that buy M-rated games for four-year-old kids. They, they are the problem, my boy. Let me see here. Look at Pokemon and me and how you can touch Jinx and Machamp. Dude, we've seen the pictures already. You can you can get a handful of Machamp's nutsack. In, you, can, you can have all five fingers encased around Machamp's dick. You, it, it looks like this. It poke a button me. To be honest, if you really want to take things to that extreme of a level, that's some bestiality type shit right there, my man. But you, <laughs> I mean, why? I mean, why? And then, and then there's so many people that are sensitive about sexual content, which isn't really sexual in the first place, more like um, intimate content or sensual content. Oh, keep my kid away from all that stuff. But you let the little nigga play Grand Theft Auto and shoot a nigga's head off. Like, what the fuck? Like, why the hell does, I mean, certain things in America, at least, seem to promote violence over building emotional, um, building emotional relationships with people? Like, I don't feel like that's a pro I feel like that's a very fucked up priority here in the United States. I can't speak for Canada or Europe or South America, but I know here in the United States, it seems like violence is way more glorified than deep intimate relationships with either other people or fantasy characters. Weird. Weird. Very, very fucking weird. I don't know, man. Let's keep it moving. I'm sorry. I kind of went in right there. Oh, my bad. You can buy the Japanese version and patch it. Maybe we'll do that. I'm probably going to have to do that now, too, if I want to experience a big part of the game that was cut out. Let's take a, let's take a look at some more um, 
donation messages real quick guys once again all of you guys that donated i give you my deepest apologies that we were not able to see all of your messages pop up in the box i'm literally looking at the box right now and nothing is happening my boy look at that shit that box has been stagnant for the last man i don't even the entire fucking stream dude the entire fucking stream let's take a look at some more comments um these donuts are great jelly filled donuts are my favorite nothing beats a what the hell <laughs> what the hell is the basis of that whether they like it or not, they can't deny the fact that it's game content that's been removed. That's what I'm saying, dude. Call it localization as much as you will. Content still got cut out, man. It still got cut out. I can kill my sister, but I can't touch her face. You can kill her? <coughs> oh, shit. Spoilers. Oh, Lord. I didn't think that. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> Come on. It's so backwards. It's so fucking backwards. It is so backwards. It hurts. It fucking hurts, my man. Oh my god, my fucking heart. <laughs> I can murder this bitch, but I can't fuck. Oh god. And it's not even like like um, like my man. Hold on a minute, my man. Let's look at the um. Let's look at the petting scene again, my boy. Let's look at one with the with with a with the with a more sexual character. Well, I shouldn't say sexual, but you know, a more um appealing character. I shouldn't say appealing either. What the hell is appealing to me and you? It's, it's a different thing. All right, first off, when it comes to... <laughs> but when it comes down to it, it's first off, like, it's not even like you're using a fucking hand to fucking just grope up a boob. You ain't, you ain't on San Kagura right now, my man. It's a stylus. It's specifically, clearly a stylus that you're using to touch the character. So can it even be considered touch, per se? It's not the same as Pokemon and me in that sense. A little bit better. Can we go lower than that? <laughs> can we go lower than that? Or if you were going to remove, if you if you want, if Nintendo truly did want to make this so that not too many sexual themes can be attributed with it, then maybe they could have made it so you can't go below a certain point. Just do that, or change the dialogue, not cut it out totally. Like, come on. I really hope they reconsider this decision. There's so many better ways that they could have gone about this whole thing rather than deciding that it was appropriate to entirely remove it, adjust it, localize it, don't remove it, like. And, and, and they're going to keep using that excuse. We've done this before with other games. We've, we've localized content to make it appropriate for the region. But I mean, how many times have you entirely removed a chunk, a chunk of a game that involves so many personal relationships like this, with this kind of a context? Maybe they have. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe they have. But it doesn't change the fact that this is still a disturbing precedent that's being set in the first place. How about you let us decide what's appropriate for us first off? I mean, if the game came out and you got millions of people saying that, hey, we don't like this feature, it's a little bit strange, it's, or, or we find offense with it, then I mean, maybe. But that wouldn't happen. I don't think that would happen. That, I, I, I don't think that would happen, dude. Not with something like this. Um, let's look at some more donations, actually, because I know some people were donating off their ass to get me to read something. Let me see. Um, we have um, Raxoro saying, here's an argument against leaving the petting in. Oh, okay. So an argument against it. Let's take a look. Matt Mercer, Crom's voice actor, has said that recording some of the romantic lines in Awakening was super awkward. Now imagine uh, the voice actor had to do much more of that kind of dialogue along with petting noises. Then get someone else to do the fucking job then. Don't pay that nigga to fucking do the... Oh, hold on a minute. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, oh, oh no, the voice actor. He's getting paid money to do this job, but he finds it uncomfortable to give romantic dialogue. And again, well, what kind of dialogue was really all that romantic with Crom, to be honest with you? But I mean, if that's the case, then get someone else to do the job who knows how to get in character for their position. Like, I mean, voice actors, a big part of their job is to become that character. Literally encompass themselves within that character and give the emotional response appropriate for many. You think, if you think a voice actor has it bad, how do you think for people in romantic movies have it, my man? People in romantic movies have to do things that are far more engaging than just giving a couple of lines with a couple of emotions put into them. Come on, man. We have another, we have another sponsor as well, too. Soldier Luca. Roson, I'm not getting angry at you. It's not, uh, don't worry. I know I just kind of got a little bit heated, but it's not... It's not you I'm upset at. It's just that, you know, the, the Crom voice actor said that he didn't feel comfortable recording some of the romantic lines in Fire Emblem. And thus, that should be an argument to totally... No, no. That, that's, that, that's so stupid for so many... 
Oh, okay. Anyways, let's keep it moving. Um, but yeah, Soldier Luca, thank you for joining the Spawns team. And I'm gonna give you guys a warmer welcome when we're not on a, such a crazy topic. Sorry, fucked up last comment. I mean that to say that Nor won't have grinding, making supports and children practically impossible to do. Really? I know the Nor side of the Fire Emblem Fates games was gonna be more difficult, but I didn't realize that it wouldn't have any grinding. Um, let me see here. Not no any no offense to the Crom voice actor as well too. You know, I mean. He's a cool dude. I, I love Krom as a character. I mean, no offense to him either, but it's just, I don't feel like that should be used as an argument to keep that out of the game. I want to see some legit arguments. And you know, even though I'm passionately for keeping this in the game, I'm not going to shit on you if you give me an argument against it. So please don't feel intimidated by that. I just want to make sure that when you give an argument against it, that it, you know, makes sense in a way, you know? I don't know. It just... I know, by this point now, those of you who don't agree with me are probably like, oh, well, if I tell him he's going to go off. Don't worry, I won't go off. I'll do my best to withhold myself from now on. This, I don't know. I, I know how to be an idiot sometimes, right? Anyways, so, you're allowed to kill and murder armies of people, including family, but you can't have social interaction. Good point right there. I don't care about petting. I think that games with special features like this shouldn't get censored to be appropriate. I agree. They should have kept it in for sciencey reasons. Touching is important in relationships. It removes the immersion. Yeah, that's another big thing. I mean, there's so many attributes to making an amazing RPG um, tactics kind of game. And, you know, Fire Emblem is a subgenre of a subgenre, my man. So, I mean, anything that can make the game more enveloping would be awesome. It, w it would be. I've mentioned so many times in this stream how the importance of personal relationships is with a game like Fire Emblem Fates. This is really retarded. If we want to buy the game, we want to complete the game, or we import it from Japan. As long as it doesn't influence learning about the character or stats in or out of battle, I'm not going to lose my mind. As long as... Well, okay, so you're saying as long as it doesn't influence learning about the character. But, I mean, isn't... But I feel like the dialogue in terms of being inside of the room could potentially give you some funny cues about the character as well too because they do speak um, when you do the whole petting thing with them so I mean I feel like maybe we could be missing out on learning certain things about them but we don't have the feature in full detail in America yet so we we won't apparently but there's people that have been watching the scenes from Japan and there's a lot of dialogue in those man it's too bad let me see here pet me Etika who the fuck pets their girlfriend you pet a pet, not a fucking human. They could have renamed it then. Um, like I said, they could have adjusted it if it was really that big of a deal to make it appropriate instead of removing it totally. Uh, to be honest, I'm I'm shocked that they removed it. Like, what? We have a new um, sponsor as well, too. Dr. Robert Hoffman. Um, thank you for joining us, doctor. I'm not sure if you're a you know, certificate. I mean, excuse me, certificate. I'm not sure if you're official, but I mean... Regardless, man, I appreciate your presence here. It's always good to have a doc in the house. So if I have a heart attack during the stream, you can help my black ass out. Um, let me take a look at some more donations. Um, we have a petition, apparently, from Suzomi853. <laughs> a petition. Um, do not... Well, you guys can try. I don't think it'll work. I mean, this is this is pointless, in my opinion. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to shit on you, but it, it, this isn't going to do nothing, man. But... You guys can try if you want. I'll leave a link to this in the description of the video after the fact. But anyways, let's look at some more of these comments. Uh, <laughs> my reaction <laughs> got the Jordan crying face. Um, let me see. What, do, what are some people saying? Nigga, I'm swole with certificates from the doc. Dr. Robert, man, what, what, what did you get your degree in, man? <laughs> what, what did you specialize in, bro? Uh, let me see here. Well, when a mommy zombie and a daddy zombie is sponsoring the same as donating, sponsoring is the exact same thing as a Twitch subscription. It, instead of $5 a month, it's $4 a month. Um, stop with the petition shit. Yeah, I don't feel like that's the right way to approach this. Um, let me see here. But there are anime fake video game characters. Why can't you pet them? Yeah, you look really down, my boy. Because the more I think about this, it, it just upsets me. But anyways, let's take a look at some more arguments. Um, I don't want I don't want you guys to think that I'm not going to listen to the other side of things. So let me know. Um, Infinite G says, I just think it's weird and unnecessary in terms of for it or against it. Um, also, I made this comedy thing a while ago, but I forgot about it. It's still relevant, I guess. Well, what did you do here, my man? What the fuck? What the hell? This dude went in. This dude went fucking in with this. <laughs> not gonna ruin my Christmas <laughs> holy shit accurate indeed my friend the holidays was a real funny time for our Conway's on release or reveal rather um, let me see more of these donations here dudes I honestly think 
that the whole ideology with Nintendo is getting very out of hand with this issue from Matt12428. It's sad because I feel it's disrespectful to the original creator's work. That can be argued as well too, dude. I Like I said earlier, I know for a fact that maybe the creators of Fire Emblem Fates wouldn't have opted for their content to get totally removed. Even Sakurai feels that it is unnecessary, and I feel down, I feel let down for the removal. Even Sakurai feels that it's unnecessary? Hold on a minute, we have a comment from Matt12428 here. Um, let's take a look at all these donations through this. I have this little thing, don't worry, if you donate it, I'm gonna see it through this thing eventually. Um, let me see, let me see here. Let me see, I got the word knob, I got, I got the Japanese, okay, so anyways, um, haven't played the Japanese, oh wait, oh no, no, I married, I already read that one. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Where was that? Where was that thing? At? I, I, one of those comments was there. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna have to sort through. I didn't realize that. I wish this thing was working. Um, let me see. From the fact, aside from the fact this is having major ramifications on the Nor gameplay, what the fuck? I'll sign the petition. <sighs> Nintendo's butt hurt. Don't. Doesn't this take from stat bonuses from the game? If so, that sucks. Could potentially. Maybe I thought that maybe you could be potentially get items in the game through this um, petting room as well too. The past donation wasn't my argument, but um, from Raxoro, but rather a point from the Reddit. Now here is an argument that Kotaku isn't telling the full story. Really? Now they aren't. Hmm. Kotaku. You know they are the only basis that we have this information from. So um, let me see. So from Lady um, Ziodine, Lady Ziodine says, I've actually heard Matt Mercer, the voice of Krom, moan as Krom and say some other shit during a panel once, and he did it pretty willingly, so there's that. But one thing that really gets to me, and it might j just be me, but petting is sort of a symbol of endearment. Uh, yeah, I, I, I agree. Yeah, dude, I mean, petting, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I've never been really pet too much. I'm kind of a little bit too tall for petting, but shit. I mean, one argument that I remember from earlier in this is that, you know, Physical contact is a big part of relationships in general, and it doesn't always jump to a sexual conclusion as much as the internet says it does. Like, come on. Let me see here. Sakurai really did say that he doesn't like the feature being included? Can someone hit me up with the source really quick? I would love to see if that's the case, man. Did Sakurai really... I don't... I don't know if I can... I don't want to go with that because if sakurai said that he doesn't like that this was removed then that's an automatic win we won <laughs> we fucking won that's it game over my boy game over my boy oh man i think they should censor it in some form for younger audiences but not taking it out entirely um i agree with half your statement but you know if they truly did want to make it suitable for younger audiences adjust it adjust it don't cut it out I hear you. Um, let me see. Etika makes my dick harder than the Jews' time in Auschwitz. The internet in its prime four, my friends. Take a look. Take it all in. I love the internet. Um, it's censorship and total BS indeed. Um, well, apparently supports and children get fucked up by removing the feature. And so you really can support with the characters in the game through the petting room. That's crazy, man. Let me see. I made this. Not too bad. Put that filter on. Nintendo is just pandering to some lonely neckbeard waifu fags who want to molest virtual waifus with their stylist. I've never seen a more a more aggressive form of bait, my friend. That's an easy eight. I rate eight on that bait, my man. Um, let me see. Fates is a T-rated game. I want more of a mature theme in the story where it really affects you. Yo, <laughs> Fire Emblem for kids. Let me see. Uh, we have lag in the stream right now, my man. What is going on? Sorry about the lag, guys. I don't even know. It's concerning, to be sure, because what if certain weapons or events are locked because we can't do this minigame? I was concerned about that, too. Let me see. I honestly could give two shits about what kids see. Why should one problem ruin it for all of us? And this is something that we've seen repeated so many times in human history. Um, the few ruin it for the many. That's just the case. Uh, let me see. You know I'd rather have Fire Emblem Hentai Edition, but petting would do. Hey, I hear you. Um, let me see. Uh, the same sex relationship was somewhat hollow in romantic ways in the supports the petting solved that. Really now? So they didn't go as deep with the um, homosexual relationships? Strange. Uh, I don't really have an argument. I just wanted to make this. What the hell? I don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> Maybe we got the Timmy over here. Pet. <laughs> Pet? I don't get it. I don't get it. Let me see here. Let's look at some more arguments from the donation side of things, guys. Um, you can soft mod the 3DS. This is from um, Senpai SSB. 
You can soft mod the 3DS to run regional locked games through the same exploit that worked with Cubic Ninja. Just import the game from Europe and run it through the hack menu and the game should work as normal. Something for all you hack and all those whiz kids out there. Let me see. I can watch fucking Game of Thrones, Attack on Titan, play GTA 5, and pet Gardevoir's Pokeboobs, but I can't play the full Fire Emblem game. Where the fuck are the parrots? They put Kamui and Corrin in Smash Brothers to promote Fates, but they're going to censor Fates because some kids are going to play it from Nathan7566. The rich man with a $10 donation saying, you know, changing a dialogue box, fine, I can handle it. But taking out a feature makes my stomach sick. When I heard this, I seriously considered canceling my pre-order. Yo, I hear you, dude. And pirating the game so I can play the real thing. I'm tired of censorship. We all want to play the real authentic thing, dude. I mean... Nintendo has been pushing this game so fucking hard. I want to be able to feel Camilla's supposedly soft skin when the game comes out and leave her pillow alone, as now we would call them. Kappa HD. What the hell from Ambrosiac? <laughs> uh, let me see. If they ruin Pokemon, then it's war from King Tim and B. I'm bleeding out of my asshole in protest. Very nice. Nigga, um, why you... Oh, let me see. From, uh, Dreamer. Nigga. Why you, you want to treat human beings like they're pets? Can't you be happy with the fact that you can impregnate your sisters? I don't know if this is bait <laughs> or <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Uh, or I mean, I I'm, I'm hoping this is a joke comment, my man. I mean, there's a difference between a video game and anime characters in real life, my friends, okay? Uh, let me see. It's not him lagging, it's YouTube. Uh, first shipping now wait, hold on. I hope the European we have a sponsor here. I hope the European releases are not censored. Same here, dude. But then again, you know, if anything is censored, it's gonna be censored in the West. Well, why the? Come on. I don't know, guys. I mean, there's not really too many arguments against my point here. You know, like removing content from a game is just not cool, especially for these reasons. Dude. Also, I don't see how it's bad for kids. Parents use children as slaves and pet them anyways. <laughs> Shit. Now, that's something that happens in the real world, that's for sure. Um, looks like Sakurai is taking a neutral stance on it. So let's see here. We have Source Gaming as well, jumping and throwing their hat into the ring. Oh, wait a minute. When it comes to um, removing content? This is a pretty long article. We won't have time to read this per se, but I'll leave this in the comments for you guys so you can check this out on your own time. Uh, maybe you can isolate some individual points from it because right now, you know, we're kind of... We're kind of deep in the muck right now. Why can't I pet and impregnate my sister? <laughs> oh my lord. I want to pet a sexy yandere waifu. Okay, let's take a look at some more donations, man. Let me see here. Let me see here. This window thing is so stupid. If you're curious, Etika, Etika, I mean, excuse me. If you're, if you're curious, Etika, Sakurai said his thoughts on here. Is this the same article? Well, this one is from August 7, 2015, though, so it's not... Maybe it's not up to speed for right now. Is it? Or maybe he's just talking about removing features of a game for censorship purposes in general, or localization purposes, rather. So we're going to check that out later on, definitely. Let me see. You Okay, soft mod. Um, let me see. <laughs> These comments are fucking crazy. <laughs> Hold on a minute. All right, so we're going to jump back to Twitter really quick, guys. Um, they want to censor a T game for younger audiences. Then what the fuck do you have the rating system for? It? Another great point right there. It would be nice if there was a warning when you begin the game and giving an option to play without the petting. Yo, dude, I mean, you're great. You have so many great approaches to handling this, which isn't even deemed a problem. But if they deemed it to be a problem... Go about it in a better method. As a gamer, knowing I ain't getting my full experience sucks. I don't... Okay, so we have Dude Machiller says, I don't think this is a bad mood. I, I, oh, excuse me, I thought he said bad move. He says, I don't think this is a bad mode. People who like it, cool. People like me who don't care, don't care. No problems. I, I, you know, I agree with you totally, dude. Like, I mean, even if you didn't really have a preference for the petting system, you weren't forced to use it. Um, but then again, you know, we're talking from the stance of a mature adult, or not even a mature adult, just a mature person in general who understands, hey, if I don't like it, I don't got to complain about it. I just don't fucking use it. And I use everything else that I love about the game. Great point there, dude. 
basically removing the Fire Emblem petting mechanic would be a waste of assets and force players to grind for the supports they want. So that's what people were referencing when it came to the Nor side of things as to them not being able to get the supports as easily. That fucking sucks, my man. And they're not replacing it with anything else. I mean, there, there's so many points to this, whereas, you know, they're removing the content, they're not adjusting it, and they're not replacing it. Give me something, or give me a discount. Give me the game for a cheaper price if you're gonna take out content. Would that justify you removing it totally? Not really, but it would be some of compensation. The game should be like $15 cheaper then. If I, if I'm, I mean, I'm making a lot of big assumptions and maybe there'll be a lot of holes in my argument at this point, but you're giving me a lesser game, a cropped version. Give me that game for less of a price than you gave it to the people who actually have the full experience going on, man. Being real here. Um, Fire Emblem is one of Nintendo's more adult games, so the fact that they need to kid-proof it when few kids play it, yeah, I mean, what do you really think the demographic of people who purchase Fire Emblem Fates is going to be? Sure, Super Smash Bros. is going to include Kamui from Fire Emblem, so there's going to be a lot of kids that see maybe Kamui and Smash Bros. and are like, ooh, I want to get Fire Emblem Fates. Well, guess what? If that little kid is under the age of 13 and he wants to get the game, and the parent buys that kid the game with the T rating, then whose fault is that? Who truly takes the blame? And who can be really, who can complain in that situation? Not the fucking parent. It's not, it's, it's not, the, the responsibility of everything in terms of what the kids play and what they're exposed to comes down to the parent. Um, Ziv, Ziv Gebe, Gabe says, I think Kotaku is just full of shit. They don't have any sources in their article besides a quote from some dude. We're kind of riding this on the fact that Kotaku does have a reputation and they wouldn't be giving us this super unconfirmed information without actually having a source, a reputable source. So we're going off of that. If this turns out to be bullshit and the feature actually isn't removed, then trust me, we're going to start a fucking, uh, a fucking lynch mob for Kotaku and fucking put them out to dry after this. Trust me, because they shouldn't be putting us through all these crazy emotional feels if they don't have the information confirmed from the jet from the get go. Okay. Let me see. Uh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm so fucking engaged with this topic that I'm literally starting to fucking spit out my mouth. Um, skinship was added as a feature for the new players after the support success in Awakening. Why axe out what saved them? Your boy KK. What an amazing point, my boy. What an amazing point. The fact that the support system is what helped to bring Fire Emblem out of the muck and rise it like a phoenix from the ashes in the first place, and you're going to remove something that's very integral with the support system in general. That's kind of like shooting yourself in the fucking dick after you manage to restore it to perfect working condition in surgery like wh why would you do that why would you do that to your own fucking penis that you've relied on for your entire life or rather for um the last part of your life that started working out of nowhere and saved you from death <laughs> i really don't care as long as the game is fun good point i suppose i mean maybe you don't care per se but if you really don't care then that feature shouldn't even be removed in the first place if you weren't going to use it anyways right let me see here not against it because of the petting but the fact that this is kind of censorship this kind of censorship is happening is still really dumb. Of course. Here's the pace bin. Yeah, Grand Myriad. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't fucking see that. Um, let me see here. Um, so total dissonance. There's something really jarring about finishing a chapter where I killed countless enemy soldiers and beat the crap out of my own family, then going home to rub some faces. Maybe skilled writers may be able to pull off such dramatic and frequent shifts in tone without making you bat an eyelash, but Fate's writing is not nearly good enough, and the story suffers because of it. So I'm not, was this an argument against it or for it? Um, I think it seems like it's against it, per se. This is, uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see here. I'm, I'm gonna, because, you know, if I try to read through this all by, like, speaking it out, I'm kind of gonna... I'm kind of going to fucking wear myself out here. Hold on a minute. Skinship is really boring. So, yeah, this is the argument for against it. All right. So, hold on. Let me see here. Now, when it comes to the writing of the game, I mean, I guess you can make your assumptions from the Japanese translation, but I feel like when it gets localized, it does have a chance to basically be redone entirely. And, I mean, we know for a fact that a lot of the ways in which the Japanese speak are not exactly translated accurately when it comes to the uh, English side of things, you know, like, I mean, the, the way their language works is entirely different. So when it comes to judging the plot and how the writers may be able to make certain story elements blend, it's arguable. I mean, you make a point here, I suppose, when you say that, you know, they may not be able to pull off such dramatic effect. But I mean, 
Fates' writing is not nearly good enough, it's kind of hard to judge upon when the game hasn't even been released in America yet, so we don't know for a fact. I mean, unless you're fully fluent in Japanese, then I mean, maybe you understand yourself, but even then, even if you understood Japanese and understood the context, the undertones, and everything in the original Fire Emblem Fates release, you still don't know how it's going to be translated in America necessarily. So, I mean, and that's where the censorship is happening, in America. So, w where will things be? You, no one can judge right now. So, maybe it's a little bit too early to even be making something like this. Um, bro, I just know 12-year-olds that play Call of Duty. Nintendo should just go with what the game is meant to be. Well, guys, anyways, we... Let me see. We have to have more donations going on. I'm, I, 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 to be honest... Don't donate anymore, because this thing is not working, and it's not going to show up to me, guys. I don't want you guys to, um, I, I don't want you guys to fucking, um, donate anymore if it's not going to work and the system's going to be fucked up. Please save your money. It, this is a fucked up thing right now. Um, Raxoro says, you're draining me dry here, Eric. I, I guess my previous donation didn't show the link that was there. If it still doesn't show, oh, you tweeted, oh, okay, yeah, I think I saw, wait, about them not telling the full story. I actually have that right here, don't I? But I'll pull it up. Um, here we have the problem as to why it got removed. Uh, people like this that call people weird weeaboos and don't understand shit. I'm not sure what... Oh, he's talking about the point. Okay, I'm going to have all these links saved up here. Because we're probably going to be talking about this again. Let me see here. As a slime. I'm outraged. <laughs> oh, man. If you're curious, Etika, Sakura said his thoughts here. I can't with this shit. What is this, Chrissy? Wait, what? Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Okay. <laughs> See that nigga said. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. If you're curious, I don't go. Okay, let me see. I think it's ridiculous to remove. Um, to fully remove physical features from the game, but worse things of this nature have happened, like how Steam censors every H game and their mom. By the way, I'm Mr. Cow Ghost with the music and such. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. All right, Dr. Hoffman. All right. Um, all right, guys. Well, you know what? For now, we've kind of got the initial... I <laughs> just burped right into the fucking mic. We kind of got the initial feel of the argument out of the way. What I want us all to do now, no more, no more petitions. I don't think that's not going to, that's not going to get the job across right there. You know, there's probably nothing that can be done to potentially maybe have Nintendo reevaluate this move, except express ourselves, you know, in social media without being aggressive. You know, I mean, do I want the feature to be included? I do because I want a wholesome experience, but at the same time, I don't feel like we're going to be able to make a difference in that sense, but we could potentially, potentially, if we talk about it enough, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. <laughs> but regardless, at least now we've kind of got this out the way. I don't want this video to be too long and intimidating for people to watch it or whatever. But I love the fact that we were all able to talk so effectively through the um, hashtag system on Twitter. This worked out really well. And a lot of people made some really great arguments. I'm going to be reading through a couple of these as well, too, including this one. Um, so we can, you know, really get the alternate side but so far during this entire stream i haven't really seen any arguments that convinced me that this was the best move for nintendo to make when it comes to fire emblem fates and the petting system nothing convinced me or even gave me some doubt in my decision of saying that i think this is a bad move i mean the one with the with crom as a voice actor being uncomfortable making that's totally irrelevant in terms of that being his job and his his position is to do what the writers tell him to to put the emotions in the voice that the writers tell him to or else you don't get paid they find someone else to do the job i mean that's a little bit of a harsh way to look at it but guess what in the real world that's the way things work so we are going to be talking about this in more detail in the coming days and in terms of um, the other content i have planned out undertale will be going down hopefully maybe even later tonight no no promises i'm bad with promises but we'll figure it all out guys um a lot of people probably didn't get their shit read because we have a lot of freaking tweets here guys but um i'm going to still be reading through these after the fact anyways do you really think it would have been possible for me to fit hundreds and hundreds of comments and only an hour and a half stream probably not but um and i do apologize as well too for the donations fucking me in the ass big time with this stream uh, i really wish that things weren't messed up like that but hopefully when youtube alerts launches things will be a lot smoother in that field guys the hashtag is fire emblem petting we are going to be using this exact same hashtag with this whole situation for the next few days weeks 
months, however long it may be. Well, probably weeks since Fire Emblem Fates comes out in February. But I want you all, if you're making your points here, to use this hashtag because maybe we can raise awareness with it. Maybe we can get this shit trending. And here's the thing, right? When you use the hashtag, more people can see it. Eventually, it becomes trending on the side of Twitter right there. So more people can see the hashtag and see what it's about and be like, hey, wait a minute. They removed a big part of the game for what? Like... I feel like maybe this is the best way to go about it, to raise social awareness and to get people on Twitter talking, rather than petitions that I ain't gonna do shit at the end of the day. I mean, how many how many of those petition things have worked, um, those ones on the online um, websites? You know, I mean, not, not too many. So anyways, guys, I will talk to you all later on. Um, let me know, man. Just because I'm stopping the stream doesn't mean I'm not gonna read through a lot of these arguments. And if you do have any arguments against the petting, please let me know. And I'm not saying that in a callous way, but I do wanna hear anti-arguments as well, too, because I'm open to new information as much as I may be passionate about my stance on the whole thing currently. I do want to take in as much as I possibly can so I can make more informed decisions. I have a tendency to kind of go off the hook and to start talking out my ass and the next thing you know I say something stupid and people have to correct me. I know that about myself by now, but if I can get put in place by you dudes, that would be awesome. So please put me in place if I'm fucking up, alright? I'll talk to you dudes later on. Um, damn, man. I, I, this is not the news that I expected myself to wake up to with Fire Emblem Fates, that's for sure. But I'll talk to you dudes later. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. And um, I'm going to be doing some petting myself, so, so that way I can feel better about this whole thing. <laughs> Alright guys, peace out. I gotta fix those donations, dude. I have to fix those donations, because this is fucked up. I mean, and also, let's give a shout out to the new sponsors that we got throughout the stream as well, too, guys can't forget the sponsors you know you guys super super went out of your way for this whole thing so um we got tyrone bob matt 12428 delta shizunawa tally soldier luca and dr robert hoffman thank you guys so much for giving your boy the next level in terms of support that four dollars a month does way more than you think it could that's for sure man i appreciate it guys take care of yourselves and have a good one we'll be getting the sponsor chat thing set up very soon Peace.